guys, look. Hit the like button. Hit the sub button. Hit the notification bell. If you understand me? Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough. Alright, look. This is not clickbait. I repeat, this is not clickbait. You understand? This is not clickbait. The New York football giants have the formula. They have the Super Bowl formula. They have it. You understand me? The New York football giants have what's in the Pulp Fiction briefcase. Okay? They have what's in Area 51 that we can't see. They have what's in the mojo from Austin Powers. They got that shit. You understand? You know what that formula is? You know what that special thing I've been talking about for the last 35 seconds is? It's three simple things. Okay? And you all seen these three simple things on full display the past couple years. The Giants have the three simple things that get MVPs knocked out in playoffs. The Giants had the three simple things that get Super Bowl favorites upset in big matchups. The Giants had the thing that you don't want to see when it matters the most. You know what that is? Number one, they have a clutch quarterback. They have a quarterback who does not make mistakes and will put a knife in your back, foot on your neck, and stare you in the eyes as you fucking die in the fourth quarter. They have that. His name is Daniel Jones. Number two, they have a running game. You understand me? We have one of the best running backs in the league in Saquon Barkley. And not only do we have one of the best running backs in the league in Saquon Barkley, but we also have the burners, 86, number 13. Okay, we got the road runners on the outside. We got what the second best tight end in the NFL, Darren Waller, patrolling the middle. So it's gonna be hard to stop that run game when they get cooking. And last but not least, the most important piece to the puzzle. Number three, we have the defense. The Giants have a top five elite defense. On all three levels. We got the D-line with the pass rush. We have Akira K and McFadden patrolling this second level. And on the third level, that boy Deontay Banks is the defensive rookie of the year right now. I don't want to hear nothing. That boy Deontay Banks is putting in work on that boundary right now. The Giants have every single thing they need to be the team you don't want to play in January. We could go anywhere with our formula. We're not trying to air it out. That's not what we do. We're not trying to do that. When the Giants get right, which is going to be in the next couple weeks, as Andrew Thomas and Daniel Jones and JMS, when they come back, when Evan Neal comes back and we put his big ass at guard, let Tyree Phillips rock right tackle, I'm telling you, Justin Pugh, oh, we looking good out there. And that's the thing, Giants fans. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. Sometimes in life, you have to make mistakes. Sometimes in life, the best lessons learned are through failure, pain, heartbreak, misery. That sick feeling in your stomach every time you close your eyes and think of what the fuck you just did. That's how you learn from your mistakes. And the Giants had to go through that. They had to be embarrassed. They had to get Questioned by the media. They had to go through that because they thought they were the Bills. The New York football giants had the audacity to think that they were going to be Kansas City East. That's what they thought. That ain't them. We won nine games last year because Wink Martindale kept you out of the end zone, played great defense on third down. What were Washington? One for 15 on third down. Did they get in the end zone? No, they didn't. Wink is back to doing Wink things. What do we do? Run the ball, set up play action, hit our tight end over the middle, hit Darren, not Darren Waller, but we hit Jalen Hyatt over the top. We hit Slayton, deep crossers. Why? Saquon Barkley's back. You got to fear the play action. This is what we do. We control the clock. 
We play good defense, and we don't make mistakes. Now, granny, Saquon, he had a fumble. Saquon's not a fumbler. Notice I didn't knock him for that in my reaction because we all know Saquon don't really fumble the ball. You know, he shit happens. At the end of the day, you know why Tennessee went to the conference championship a couple years ago? Derrick Henry, clutch quarterback play, and defense. That's why Derrick Henry was able to beat Lamar Jackson in the second round and go up two touchdowns on Mahomes. You know why the San Francisco 49ers were in the Super Bowl versus Mahomes a couple years ago? Because a good defense, they ran the ball, and the quarterback didn't make mistakes. Until they, you know, and you know, till they till he had to throw the damn ball too much. But that's why I said the run game. They had Mozart out there going for 200 in championship games. That's the formula. When the Giants won in 2007, not 2011, 2011 was the Eli year. That was the year Eli, you know, that was Eli's uh, Goku Super Saiyan God mode season. Like he was bl glowing blue, and you weren't know you going to do is stop Eli. But in 2007, we had Earth, Wind, and Fire, Jacobs, Bradshaw, Ward. We ran the ball. Eli was clutch, straight hand, Ozzy, Tuck. They played great defense up front. Antonio Pierce. That's how we won the first Super Bowl. Great defense. The number one offense, the 07 Patriots. The number two offense was, guess who? Romo T.O., Marion Barber, God bless the dead. The 07 Cowboys. That was the number two offense that year. So we, we went through the, the best two offenses in the league and beat Brett Favre. So we did that because we were able to run the ball, play great defense, and Eli Manning was as clutch as they come. We don't need to have some MVP quarterback like Mahomes or Lamar or what's my man name? Josh Allen. We don't need that. We don't need to be the Philadelphia Eagles and have this explosive office. We don't need that. The Giants have everything they need right now. The only thing the Giants are missing is that dog. The only thing the Giants are missing is is that dog they don't have no rough riders in that locker room we need a knucklehead we need to go trade for a problem child we need somebody who's gonna make people uncomfortable that's what the giants don't have every great team has a knucklehead you gotta have at least one goon on the team that's gonna tell you shut the fuck up when you go to the sideline what the fuck is your problem the fuck are you doing? You need that one guy who's going to step to anybody on the team and be that guy. Why do you think they put up with Draymond Green and go to state? Why do you think Michael Jordan let Dennis Rodman go party all night long and show up 10 minutes before a game? You need the accountability guy. He doesn't have to be the best, but he has to be one of the better players. He has to be a guy who does his job. When the Giants were winning, you think Antonio Pierce is going to let you miss tackles? What was it? It was Jabril Wilson. It was Corey Webster. You think he would let you miss tackles the way that, you know, Trey Hawkins and, 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 and freaking Pennick were missing tackles? Could you imagine if Antonio Pierce is on the field and, and, and he saw them missing tackles like that? On offense, we had Brandon Jacobs. That was the heart and soul of that offense. Brandon Jacobs, go back and watch any highlights from 07. Who was leading the huddle? It wasn't Eli. Eli is easy E. He's smooth. It was always Brandon Jacobs. That was our guy on offense. Now, you know, Saquon is, of course, Saquon's better than Jacobs, but Saquon's not that guy. Saquon's another good character, nice guy. We need a goon. We need a knucklehead. We need a guy like that, man. On both sides of the ball, Giants got too many high character dudes. I mean, and yes, that's a damn bad thing. Yeah, it's a bad thing. We need some knuckleheads. Need a couple Fist Vegases on that damn team. That's what we need. And I know what y'all, it can't be Jihad Ward because he's not that good. No disrespect to Jihad Ward, but he's not an impact player. It has to be some kind of player of substance that could go to a Daniel Jones or uh, a Dexter Lawrence who's making all this money and hold them accountable. You can't hold nobody accountable if you're not important. It's got to be an important player to do this. But other than that, oh, we got everything we need, baby. The New York football giants have every single stinking thing that we need. 
All we got to do is go out there and do it. It's about to get good, Giants fans. Y'all stay tuned. As always, throw those FUs in my chat if you rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.